So welcome, this is TJ Money Show. Uh, and we talk about business, business and money and all of those nice things. So we've got people that do these things every day. Our game is to show you that it can be done with anyone. So the game is to inspire you and educate you with proper people that are doing this. So welcome aboard. But before I go any further, I want to introduce the two ladies. Good morning, evening. Um, Whatever time it is, how's it going to Tony <laughs> and Kay? Hello. Hope you guys are good. Um, I am Tabrisha Baiteli, the co-founder of Beauty Eye Store, um, a salon, a luxury salon. Basically, I beauty by based in Kingamstown. Um, Tony Patuadwa, they call me Tony, uh, a founder of Beauty Eye Store. Yeah. Okay. okay. So both of you, are you guys partners in your in your business or not? Yeah, we're uh, partners. Okay. So you you guys run a luxury salon. Beauty, yes, beauty bar. bar. Luxury beauty salon. Yeah. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back to that one because I've never actually had anyone who's been who actually owns either a saloon or anything like that. So you guys are my first to do such kind of things. But I want to know Kay first. So I'm going to go with Kay first. And what's your background? Before you came in to understand to run a saloon and to do business, did, did uh, you just... So when, when um, you I, grew up, I grew up in a small town in Kaiskamook in Eastern Cape, um, 30 minutes away from King Williamstown. Um, it was such, um, it's a small town basically, so nothing, okay, she also grew up there, so yeah, it's a small town, no salons, no beauty bars, no nothing, like a zero. So what I wanted, even growing up, I've always wanted this for myself, I always knew that I want to be in the beauty industry, and I tried to pursue that, um, during high school, um, I went to high school in St. Matthews, and then later on, I went to St. Christopher's private school. Um, yeah, that's when I was enlightened about this, basically. So, yeah, that's when I was enlightened because I moved from my hometown to King Williamstown, and then that's when I saw, like, things. And then that's when I decided that I want to venture into the beauty industry. Um, but my parents weren't so supportive, like my family wasn't so supportive of that. And so I decided that I'm gonna do it with or without their support. So um, during my varsity days, I would do like students, I'd do their makeup, you know, and they would pay. So I'd ask others to be my models and then that's when I started. And then, yeah, when I finished school, I was like, okay, okay, I love this so much. And then I decided to go into like, take courses, small courses of business so that I know when I venture into this business and when I want to take it as a career, I should know what I'm dealing with, you know? So yeah, I did that and I completed like my three-year course. And after that, I was like, okay, I'm ready now. I'm a big girl. I've got this. I have to do this for myself. And then I started, I, I started very small with like little box of makeup, you know? Um, I didn't have all the foundation, all the shades, but I knew that I'm going to do it and, and I'm going to try so much to save up and get the stock that I want for myself, you know. So um, people trusted me with my brand because, you know, I try to be as professional as I can be and I try like, to understand their clients' needs. So that's when I started building the clientele and then people started trusting me in their way, you know. And then... Um, to cut it short, and then last year around June, I approached Usuani because she already, she was already established and she already had her own place to rent. So I was like, Usuani, um, can I please come to your place? I want to rent a space, you know, because I live at Obotobo, so traveling back and forth would cost me so much. So I was like, okay, Usuani, I want to come to Kimberley Can I please come to your space? And then I'm going to rent or we do commission, you know? Um, how much are you going to charge me? And she was nice enough. So she was like, okay, girl, you're just going to pay like some peanuts 
because <laughs> da yeah I like well, it's a startup for you so I've been in this so you can start small and I was like okay I'm very appreciative and then since then you know, we've been working together she welcomed me into her space um she made me comfortable from the first day introduced her clients to me okay this is my makeup artist please try it out you know trying to do all the advertisement for me because I was new here you know so yeah yeah that's what happened um, until the state of Wow. Wow. It's <laughs> uh, so, okay. I, I, like, I like a lot of things that you've positioned. Um, I think on this show here, I'm always talking to people that um, sometimes you need to go out of where you are to actually start seeing some success. And traveling from one place to the next can also open up your eyes in terms of exposure. And a lot of us yeah. will limit ourselves in terms of where we just are, and then there's great opportunities out there. Um, so I really like what you just said there, which is number one. I am yeah. always talking about being crazy because um, I'm the first person to do real estate in my life, uh, in my family, actually. There's not so many people that have done it. A lot of people yeah. in my family, they, all they've done is they've bought a house. But I've made it a business, right? When I started, the same thing that happened to you, no, you can't do it, you should find a job. So there was no support. And it's surprising that our lives are so parallel to each other. But... I'm always saying to people, guys, you need to learn something. If you're not going to learn it, you're not going to be successful at it. And I'm so glad that you've spoken about the learning part. You took time out of your time for three years to learn. And the starting small, whoa. I, like, like all of you guys. Not all of us can start big. Some people can when they have like the financial background and yeah. having people to help them out. And in our case, we started from scratch. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you what you just said. I'll come back to you. Um, by the way, you you you're looking quite pretty there. I whatever that makeup thing is that you're doing. <laughs> Carry on. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Off the hook. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Shonia, how's it going? And welcome. And what's your background? Where are you from? Oh, I'm Shonia. Shoni Patuadwa from. Original, and I'm from Amalfi, but I grew up at Kabakolo. Right. Um, funde SA Kwe Chusane. Fine. Then, uh, in Tashiara was at Queenstown, but uh, a new scholar is, is not for me, Anne. But I tried to start something for myself, I mean. Uh, the problem was, Anne. Uh, during the school mm. days, um, I uh, got pregnant, and then, and then after right. long, the is in those are struck Lisha, little bit. You okay, now I have a child, I can't do anything, I can't find a job because I didn't finish at, at Tasha. Yeah, so my parents were sure. like, bah, Okay, now Shoni, you decided to get pregnant, so we can't do otherwise. Mm -hmm. You can stay at home and uh, take look for a uh, take care of your child. And mm -hmm. so fine, I try to look for something I can do while I'm uh, busy babysitting my son. Um, first job I was working at Shoprite, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I knew this is not for me. And then, but I tried to search something I can sell, all that stuff. I remember I started to sell to sell weaves with 12, like two thousand only. I started my business with two thousand. I still remember. Yeah, and then, uh, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then. Uh, I I started to sell weaves. I noticed that uh, people they can't take care of the weaves, and then because are expensive, they ask me how do you wash these weaves? How do you iron it, and then 
And then I started to learn about how to take did you say Did weave. you say how to how do you iron it? How do you iron it? You yeah. iron it. You iron it. You really? know it, you straight it, you wash, wash it. it, all that stuff. So that right. I'm, I'm learning new things here. Do, do you yeah. iron with a with a proper iron or is there specific no. <laughs> professional <laughs> straightener? With a straightener. <laughs> right, so, right. G okay. GSD, GSD. That's the right word, isn't it? So I started the business on my room and then with these weaves. Then my mother was complaining about, oh, this is, is making my place dirty, all that stuff. And then I noticed about, I can afford a flat to move out so that I can do my business on my flat, and then, right. so. then mm -hmm. um, 20, it was 2018, 2018, I started the business, and then 29, uh, 2018, I moved to my flat. Um, then the business was drawing, I noticed but the clients are a lot for my space now. I need to look for a workplace, not a saloon, just a workplace for this week because I was sleeping around three in the morning. I wake up at six. I'm busy with these weaves. Yeah, and you were saying that to sue right? Yeah. yeah, she's also sewing weaves with the machine, so it's making like yeah. a lot of noise. So um, right. I was busy with that, and then I gained a lot of clients there. Now I was so comfortable to move to the space, like professional space. Then I got like a small Anyana space for to work, like for a workplace. Then there, but I knew but I want more for, yourself. for myself, honey. But uh, the thing is, I like to start small, like step yeah, by step by step, by step yeah. so that I can be comfortable, honey. Then, then K, yeah, K last year, K, K, um, yeah, so. um, yeah, and then we I, started working together. We're like, okay, this is what we wanted. Yeah, to do. yeah, mm -hmm. it's like we clicked when we were talking, you know, we but clicked in a way that um, this is not what we want, we want to grow, mm -hmm. and how do we grow? And actually, to my surprise, we actually planned to renovate in like a month, and then it literally happened. Started with zero, like no money, no savings, no whatever. Because at first we weren't partners. Mm. We only started partnering up like a month ago oh, when we started yeah. like, the new space when we renovated. So we basically we, just started to make this like renovate around March, March this year. Yeah. So we were like, okay, every time on weekend, and then they malatile. The Ifaka with renovations. Yeah. Who are when they malatile Ifaka? No funding, no nothing. Yeah. But yeah, but we worked so hard and we were disciplined enough like mm. to be able to keep our money. Because my parents were like, okay, girl, can we have money? And to say no to your parents and they know that you're working but you and don't have money, go. It's hard. Bear in mind, uh, everything for me is depending on me. Money. Like my son fees, rent. rent food everything like but i decided but okay i'm gonna do this yeah and of for cooler you need to take risk in business yeah so right. but yeah. at the same time calculate your and, risk you can't just decide about any yeah. risk is worth it and we we'll always ask our business. our customers what uh, do they want uh, when do they see us in years to come yeah. So we basically took even ideas from them that, okay, they want this. Because yeah. some of them, they go to East London for like installations, for treating their wigs, like basically for everything. This is the first of its kind in King Williams that like we don't have. A they call it one stop because everything you get, yeah, you get it, yeah. Okay, I like that. So let's talk about your business now. So now I know a little bit about Kay, and I know a little bit about Loni. Um, and what does the business do? I think for a guy like me, who's maybe like 0% metrosexual, um, 
I, I don't go to the saloon at all, but you guys, you run a luxury yeah. beauty saloon, which means that it's not just any other saloon. What, yeah. what, what should I expect? Let me envision this whilst I'm sitting in Johannesburg. And if I'm to come down um, to King Williams, for what does it mean? They're consented, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so basically for us, it's a unisex salon, but yeah, it's mostly women. We specialize mostly with women-related services and products, right? right? So um, and we wanted a comfortable, comfortable space, space for women. For women, women, yeah, just to relax and yeah after a stressful day all that stuff even after a sunday of sunday yeah preparations yeah. yeah they could come mm. and relax so basically what we do is okay i do makeup i'm a makeup artist i'm a lash technician and i do with uh installation treatment treatments uh yeah. color curls everything about weaves yeah like hair dating cut yes and Dining. the first and the facial facial like yeah so we basically do makeup lashes lash extensions um waxing facial foot massage, foot massage body massage styling um yeah so basically it's some of the things that we do so yeah okay if i'm to come to your guys shop today right uh, if i'm to come to your guys shop today so i bring let's say my wife to yeah. to, to your guys shop um like what should i expect in terms of if i had maybe uh let's say ten thousand rand right uh, yeah. i don't know if people spend so much money i, I have no idea on how much people spend on their weaves and things like that um but just, just walk me through what can be done for her, and and in your guys' shop, how much time uh, would she spend there? Is it an hour? Is it is it the whole day? What for exactly? What is she coming for? So you guys say to me that in one in in one aspect, right? You you guys' environment is for women. It's a safe place for women. And it's for them to relax whilst they are also getting treated and things like that. So I don't know it. It's it's the first thing. Uh, it's the first time in King William. So it basically means that there's lots of people that probably don't know that kind of a service. So yeah. I've got some money. I want my wife to feel pretty. I want my wife to be to feel relaxed. What can she expect? She's got ten thousand rand. That kind of I'll thing. make a scenario, okay? First of all, mm. she's going to come. There's welcome <laughs> drinks. She gets to choose if she wants to drink wine, Co white or red, coffee, cappuccino, cocktails, hot chocolate, hot chocolate um, you name it. Mm -hmm. All beverages are available. Gin, you know, juices. Wow. So, yeah, that's the first thing that we do for our clients that attracts them because they're going to be spending much more time on the salon, right? And then um, we move, maybe first you could start with um, to relax, you know? Um, I think our foot massage is like soothing mm -hmm. and it's <laughs> relaxing, hydrating. We do some foot scrubs. So it takes about like an hour for a foot massage, you know? And then um, we're currently planning on doing platters for our clients because we just realized they some could spend like five hours here. They start with foot massage and then they go to massage, they go to facial, they do their nails, they want to do their makeup. Yeah, basically there's some people who want to do everything oh, okay, here. Yeah. They just want to start with the lashes, do this, do that, wow. do that. Yeah, you know, everything that is in here, waxing, everything. So yeah, that's the scenario I could give you like, yeah, relaxed vibes, just chilling, massaging. You know, after that, that you do your hair, yeah. and you know, music. and music. Like we have some <laughs> nice playlists here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's basically what she could expect. Like a very comfortable environment. And I okay. think we are very fun people to be around. Oh, no, that, that I've already realized. Uh, I'm, I'm out here that I've seen that I'm you guys shy. are fun. Too. Yeah, but she's shy. Yeah. I'm very shy. 
Shoni, uh, Shoni, I'm gonna, I, I want to ask you a question. You, um, you've got a child, um, but you also have a business, right? Yes. Now, how do you how do you juggle the two? Because a lot of people, oh. when they they want to start a business, they say, no, but I can't start a business because I've got a child, or I can't start a business because you know this and this. There's always an excuse, and yet you are doing it here, and you have got a child. You were saying earlier on that sometimes you sleep at three, four in the morning. How do you balance all of this and still remain calm as you are today? No, it's very, it's very difficult. I don't want to lie. It's very difficult because uh, I can't go out on a weekend because I, I like my child Danny, is at school going out around one. I decided, but okay. I'm going to send him on aftercare. Then aftercare is coming out around five. Then I come back around half five. Um, yeah, it's so it's very difficult, but if you you can do it, I'm sacrificing a lot of things like Ubum Yeah. Um I can't go out on weekends that much, honey. But yes, you get the yeah, babysitter, baby all that thing. And, and then at the same time, Yindo and Denza, Yuba pushes you. Yeah, a lot. Was the um for example, Umda must be I want Uba and the Apple to Auntie Amo yeah, because Jim Villa Lumkana Naye and Bunkoka and Villa. Um, now I feel like at the same time, you need to open a space for Umdana. But sometimes I go out on Saturdays with e friends, it's like so that in Jimmy full attention over. I'm still here, but at the same time, during the week, please understand, um, busy a lot. So mm. it's like that. I'm trying by all means to balance, to balance. because I'm a single parent and the father is not there, but I'm not there. <laughs> so yeah. it's like that. But my trend parents is like as young later a lot, some weekends, but I but yeah. so that can I'm defining a bunch of Well, sometimes I. And he go out, you know, go out to the alone because I need to reboost myself so that sure. Monday you better focus with business because I you know it's draining. Yeah. Business is but yeah. Yeah. Mm. I like that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Kay, um, Kay, you, you're an you're a makeup artist. Right, and and in my view, being a makeup artist is not that's not a business. It's it's a product. So you, you are the product in this business. Yeah. But however, there is many things that one now needs to do in the business. Yeah. Um, you need to market yourself. You need to uh, make sure that the business is being run. There's the administration part of it. There's the accounting part of it. And there's many other things that needs to happen in a business. And I think a lot of people, sometimes they see you as a makeup artist and then they, they just go out there. And I want to ask that in the business that you're in now, so you found Flony, Flony was running and you became the partner, right? So besides being a makeup artist, what is it that you actually do? don't like doing in the business? In the business, um, laser pointers, <laughs> right? Um, and people tending to overlook us, you know? Mm -hmm. Like people coming at me, oh, it's you, you're so young, can you do this? It's like, yeah, I can transform you, period. So that's what right. I mean, like I don't appreciate late clients because you're gonna keep me off schedule. There's a next client, I know I take an hour to do like a full plan, and then you come 10 minutes later, meaning I have to run a bit of schedule now. I have to beg another client that they should be 10 minutes late, whereas you were 10 minutes late. So I don't like late clients and I don't like clients who don't know what they want. Like, okay, Gamba, 
do anything that you want to do with me. And then when I'm done, they're like, I don't like bright colors. Mm-hmm. But you said I should do whatever I feel like is going to suit you. I think it suits you. The fact that you don't see that it suits you shouldn't be my problem. So I think they don't understand us and call out me. It's like, I have to move from my comfort zone, take my stuff, the ring lights, the big cases. I have to take them out. And then now they don't want to pay me for that. You know, they're like, yes. okay, you're about to do five cases. Yeah, so why should I pay you extra money? It's a color fee and transportation fee. Like, please, I beg. And then the other thing that I hate, 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 hate so much is when I'm doing house calls and then there's people didn't pay for my services and now they want to do makeup. Okay, they're gonna be like, okay, can you please draw my eyebrow for like 10 rand? I do have 10 rand, can you please draw my eyebrow? Like, I'm very nice and I won't lie, I can't be like, mm. and then I just do my work and keep quiet. I'm very talkative. I like people to co- to be able to communicate with me. So I create that safe space between me and the clients so that they can be able to complain, but um, I don't like this, I like this. Can you please change here? It's too much for me, I want this. So I try to create that safe space, but I feel like they take advantage of that because I'm naturally like nice. And then they like, oh, please do my eyebrow for 50 rand. Okay, can you please just put powder? I don't have money, just put powder. Like it's my products at the end of the day and I buy them with my own money. So yeah, and I have a business to run and I have to, at the end of the month, to stock the products so for me it's mm. it's very uncomfortable but yeah sometimes do understand it and some don't. don't and those who don't i try like, to talk with them and then try to have a common ground and yeah some understanding the two of us. yeah shani um you, you've been running the business now four years um in a row you know? congrats. Um, congrats well done Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And and my question around your business now is that when 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 one starts a business, you have a dream of this is what I want, or you're looking for certain benefits, right? Um, if you had to look back four years ago to where you are now, I am sure that there are some other benefits that you've already started to test or started to realize to say, yo. I've been working hard. This has been coming through for me. Oh, but I also want to get to another level. But you can see where yes. you are now. Say right? it again. Okay. Want to another level. <laughs> right. But but what is it that you can say to us today that in your business today you're already seeing those fruits or the benefits already? Yeah, there are benefits. Definitely. Um, and um, okay. Um. What are the benefits for oh, oh, good business? Like, is it any benefits? Oh, like, okay. Like, okay. Uh, and I think for you, mm-hmm. yeah, it's low. Um, the benefits, uh, yeah. On on past three years, back, I did a business yeah, without any gain. Like, uh, sometimes, as long as client is happy, I'm happy. I don't give uh, like uh I don't care if uh, it gain them is one percent or two percent and it but what I notice now I have the clientele a lot of yeah, clientele and, and they have trust on me and it. I can start anything because they know Sony Sony is gonna deliver yeah. yeah so that's the only thing I can say but I've gained it and this this business is for is that for another businesses and yeah that we want to venture into yeah, in the future so yeah I, okay. trust. Okay. I gain people I gain people trust yes okay right I, I like that um okay um in this whole thing right you came in the business was running already um, and then you have plugged it in, right? So if you are to look at it from the perspective of you having to have started on your own, right? And then here, I'm, I'm just trying to think about, you know, we there, there is benefits in starting off partnerships with Ground Zero for everyone, or 
there is benefits in starting off with someone else who's already started and you come in and plug in. Because from what I'm hearing from both of you guys is that Shoni can't do what you do in the other way around, but you guys are complimenting that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, but, so basically, let's talk yeah. about that, though. What a privilege, you know. Yeah. Like I always thank her every day for letting me into her space, first of all, and then secondly, to charge me nothing for being in her space. Because <laughs> before we renovated, I was basically just like running my business, having my own money. She wouldn't care how much I'm making, what I'm doing, you know. So the rent was literally like nothing compared to what she was paying at the time you know so for me it was a privilege and i um uh, because i spent my varsity days in pe so my clients were in pe at the time so i really didn't have clients here nobody knew me here around king you know they just knew me but wouldn't really trust me you know um they would take me as a typical slave queen you know those vibes yeah. so yeah it was such a privilege to get someone who is already trusted by clients you know so whatever as she has mentioned that whatever she brings onto the table they kind of just jump into it and be like okay she only brought this so it must be up to standard you know and even like coming here she told me Gamba, my clients don't so care about money yeah they're so sensitive but with money they would pay anything for looking good you know so you just have to make sure that you meet the standards of them and you have to make sure that you meet their needs. You don't disappoint, you, you yeah, you don't disappoint them. <laughs> and then like be on time, be professional, you know, be nice, be talkative. So I was like, okay, girl, I've got you. So yeah, and I remember my first client, yeah, was hers actually, you know? And I was very nervous, but I just trusted myself and my work, you know? Um, Cause yeah, I trust myself a lot when it comes to my work, I deliver. So I did my best and then the clients were happy. And then it, like, it was, a word of mouth mm. before the business we weren't really advertising it because you already did the job like years ago so it was just like a word of mouth like clients will tell other clients it was mostly like, like referrals yeah we don't so, advertise much yeah yeah it was just referrals right. Right. so for me if um, i'm very thankful for the opportunity it's something that I never ever want to take for granted. Even in my prayer, I always mention it that may I never fumble this because somebody else worked so hard for it. And because I'm so deserving of it, you know, <laughs> things I've been through, you know, so I think I'm deserving at the same time and I'm grateful for it. Like it's a blessing. Good, good. Um, Shloni, you, you sound like you're a, work, you're a hard working person. Um, yeah, I am. And, and what does a typical day look like for you? Uh, what time do you wake <laughs> up? Uh, up until the time you go to bed, what does that day look like for, for oh, yeah, so yeah. Oh, very typical. Yeah. At the same time, time, I wake up at six. That's, uh, you can't be here at six, maybe five. Yeah, five, five o'clock she wakes up. Uh, yeah. So, uh, my day for me, Anne. I hate disappointing clients. If a client is so disappointed with my work, maybe I wanted this color, or I'd rather give him a hundred percent, but come again with free yeah. Yeah. service again. No, no, no. So I'm willing to lose than disappointing my client. If I um at the same time, do I feel like if and men's an accident, Dichom Naba Dichom Nuba, ah, Lennon went on. I don't feel it, Shane. Can you please come again? Go see us somewhere to go and say, particularly in the way like, but no. Um, they come back, they always come back. Um, yeah, they always come back, but I didn't see like, So it, it, the the typical day you as for is like it, like typical day is also cause in child or like complaints and complaints. I hate complaints. Um so it's about difficult for me in mm. yeah. 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 But basically okay. Okay. a typical day for her, I think it would be like she wakes up at five, has to be yeah. here at the salon by six and then last week for instance uh, on saturday she woke up around five she was here at six and then yeah. she had to close at eight because clients were 
just keep popping even wow. with appointments even mm. walk in so we could basically and then and I have to prepare hours. my son around yeah. six to yeah. school yeah. 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 so, so yeah. every mm-hmm. uh, this day every day is my yeah. Yeah. Day. As, yeah now okay you you've been in the business now uh, close to a year now but you know working in this business yeah. what was your most heightened i almost want to say you know when you're in business there's a time when you feel yo i think i've arrived here right yeah. Yeah. and 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 you you can continue again and then you will have another moment where you say oh i've arrived and now that first arrival now now looks like mm. it wasn't all of that yeah but what was your first aha in terms of i've arrived and what had happened for it to make you feel that you had arrived um i think it was sometime in august when i was super comfortable on the business and clients were just flooding and flooding and i was just making a whole lot of money so i was like okay i love money and this is why i'm here and people trust me with their money and some would say you're so cheap like increase the price and i'm like okay relax we've got this we know when the time is right we'll make it happen you know so yeah i think it was around august um it was a peak season for yeah it was a peak season because with metric dances um heritage is coming up on september so it was just like around that time the pickup season that they were just flooding and flooding and flooding and yeah i think that was the time mm-hmm. You guys might might need to actually just uh, talk to both of you and see how you can answer my next question. Um, um, The two of you, well, Tony started off at her mom's garage. She moved into a flat. And now you guys are in this workplace, workspace that you are in. Mm -hmm. And I do property. That's my thing. You know, I, I, I enjoy properties, whether it's commercial, whether it's residential or student accommodation, that's what I do. How important is property and what is your guys thinking and dream associated to your business? Hmm, okay, what an interesting question. Um, okay, <laughs> do you wanna start? Yeah. Okay, for me, then, if I get yeah. the question correctly, um, I think for me, um, where you're working is very important mm. in terms of property, right? We're talking about that. Uh, yeah. In terms of money. Yeah, in terms of property. Like the space we're working in. Or... So maybe let me rephrase that. What is your guys thinking in buying property? Should you buy property for your business? Should you buy property for yourselves? Definitely, um, yes, it is. It's such a good investment. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, at the same time, we feel like we are wasting. Yeah. We want to expand. Yeah, if we want to extend and then we want to do renovations, mm-hmm. we can just repeat because it's our property. Yes. yes. And we but want to venture into other businesses. So when you own property, you can just decide, okay, I don't want uh, this anymore. I want this. So it's, it's a good investment. Yeah, and money. It makes lots of money. It's, it's not a waste, you know, like it keeps accumulating and it's and a way of saving. Yeah, you yeah. Just, I feel like sometimes you're yeah. Just, yeah, you're just a waste of money, to be honest. But yeah, if you get the, if you get the chance to purchase property, I think we would go for it. And yeah, we are looking on to that actually, because we're just talking about that. <laughs> Shoni, if you had to look back six years ago, yes. um, what advice would you give yourself with what you know today? And, and yeah. uh, Kay, you can answer the same question. I will say, girl, you got this. Don't worry. Wake up and do the same thing. You are never right there. You are, um, don't hold yourself back or nothing. I, don't stress yourself too much. Right, right. Because okay. I'm an overthinker. Yo, I'm an overthinker. But at the same time, I like taking risk. 
so um the most thing and then send a kumelela ku business to take risk a lot don't think too much don't do too much but do it <laughs> do it wake up do it you're on the right path you got this okay. girl <laughs> yeah nice nice and Kay, what what's what's your thinking i mean um you you started off thinking about this whilst you were still in high school you know and yeah. here it is now yeah, so if you had to look back <clears throat> at, at the time when you were struggling around this to say that will it come a reality and you had no support from your um, from your parents and things like that and people yeah. around you what what would you tell yourself in that time with what you know um, in life some journeys walk them alone mm. you know um, you have to believe in yourself because mm. nobody else will believe in you unless you believe in yourself and um, people will start believing you once things materialize you know yeah um, to think of it they're so proud of me my mom comes here now and then that like, she's super proud of me now and looking back at the time if I gave up you know just because they didn't, just because they didn't support me fully you yeah. know um, not that they were so supportive but it was just them looking out for me and wanting the best for me you know so yeah going back to what Tony says take risks because yeah if I didn't take that risk of saying okay I'm doing this whether you support me or not I wouldn't be here today so the road to success is lonely like you walk alone and you have to believe in yourself fully and give it your all yeah, yeah. It's true that the road of success can be lonely. Um, yeah. I like to remove that by having coaches and mentors around me, people that have done what I'm trying to do. Um, and speaking of that, I want to ask you guys, so how do you keep yourself abreast with new things or new ways of being a makeup artist, new weaves? So obviously every, every industry is things that are always evolving, things are always yeah. changing. But yeah. how do you make sure that you are ahead of the game? Because number one, you are the first luxury beauty salon in your, in your neighborhood in King Williams, right? Um, yeah. But how do you make sure that you are continuously staying ahead of the game? Because someone is going to open a shop soon. Um, surely for me, I always watch other people's business and I videos like those people will transform you and they always have like the latest trends mm -hmm. and with us in South Africa we're always like behind so I try to look onto videos and see how I can improve why is not my yeah. makeup looking like this why what should I do to improve like I don't sleep I'm like okay what is it what are my competitors doing now that I can top it you know what are they not doing so that I can do it you know yeah I compare myself with higher people people in higher places you know like and I keep like my walls so high so that yeah but even if I fall like I fall here not <laughs> down 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 yeah but so basically I set up yeah, this kind of yeah. so that yeah, yeah if I fail I fail better you know yeah because, yeah, that's the only thing I like that. that. Watch and and, and what is I each other? Have videos. And by Tony, he had the new trends of videos. Come back. He had the new trends of makeup. Do this. We don't even let me exchange. And videos I give myself time. only 30 minutes around three. Mm. And so good. 30 minutes. I research, I research uh, new latest trend on weaves. I check that and try on my stuff getting yeah stuff, stuff, she stuff, tries on me all the time and <laughs> i try, and try all the time. It's a new thread on wheels i can do this and that so yeah, I, that and I don't relax i hate to put time yeah. Uh, uh, like yeah. Uber, like Uber, and so, yes yeah. i hate to... and we don't want to be like comfortable where we are i'm so comfortable Unga, because we yeah yeah. So, yeah so that's why um to clear point by this now. Yeah. So we try okay, to cool. all that that is cool. Um I, I just want to say to you guys, uh your business has started off small, you guys are growing. Uh I hear good things about your guys uh salon. Um, uh, thank you. 
Huh? Yeah, so uh, I'm really proud of your guys' uh, journey in King Williamstown. Uh, I haven't been to King Williamstown in maybe in about seven years. Um, you should definitely visit now. <laughs> for sure, I've got a reason now. I've got a reason now. We literally have big plans, you know, for this place. We have oh, a lot. Yeah, we want to be the trendsetters. <laughs> when they mention us, they should know that. Your level there so that if you fall, um, you don't go too low. <laughs> so, yeah, we literally like trying so hard to. Yeah. By the next Amazing. time you come to King, we'll be only the place, definitely. <laughs> Amazing. Well done. Well done. Uh, I just want to applaud you guys and thanks very much for gracing us on our show. But what I want to ask of you guys before you go, what does success look like for you? I'll start with Tony. What does success look for you? And then we'll close off with Kay. Mm -hmm. What does success look like for you? I'm not there yet. <laughs> success for me is look like uh, I don't worry for anything like financial. financial. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I, I don't even know no Costa Malin. Success for me is the financial freedom. Uba, okay. Right. Things, are just yeah. Yeah. Things are just rolling by. Yeah. Sounds and for me, nice. I think success is um, helping other people <laughs> who are maybe upcoming makeup artists. Mm -hmm upcoming hairstylists we've discussed this with you Kone, that we want to help so and i think that's also out part of our success is giving out to the community because if people struggle and then mm. we are well off so i think we should be able to help them so that's mm. what success looks like for me helping other people are less privileged yeah. um giving out to the community mm. doing this doing that you know like i think if people see it too in life is to help other people <laughs> and we should uh, know success. what God brought us here. He brought us here for purposes. And I think my and purpose it's is not about other success. Yeah. Mind. It's not about success. It's about helping mm -hmm. other people. Yeah. yeah. Changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Evolving all the time. So I think mm -hmm. for our business, I think that's what success mm -hmm. looks looks like. Like helping other people, people, you know, giving out without wanting anything in return, you know, mm -hmm. like uplift the community. Like yeah, no, especially with business. Yeah, right? especially yeah. with the business. Like, we, people are I know where I come from, and yeah. I'm always there to help um, Jofuna in Kwenza in yeah. business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to uplift cool. others. They can do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing so, yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well done. Well done. And to your success. Uh, I wish you all the best in your guys' journey and the endeavor. To start, of your to is that the success? Thank you. To is that the success, please? We're <laughs> <laughs> not successful yet. I am not successful. <laughs> right. So well done. Well oh, thank done. Thank you very much. Because I feel like I'm um, appreciative of where you I are. I am appreciative. But in my goals are there. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna there yet. Where you want to be. I feel like it's a start. Yeah, for but me. at some point, you're like, you were there. Now you're here. You're going to uh, be there and there and there and there. The reason is, you know? I don't want to comfortable saying yeah. that this is successful. successful. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's not that so, I'm not appreciative. Yeah. 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 So, so, so yeah. can I can <laughs> tell you something before I go? Mm. Right. And I got this from, um, uh, I was watching a movie. I don't remember which movie I was watching. And, and the, the father was giving some advice to the son. And he said, son, in life, it, it looks like a stadium. Yeah. There's yeah. always going to be someone who is below you. And there's always going to be someone who is going to be ahead That's of you. Definitely. But... There's always someone who is either on the left or on the right, so which means that you're on the same level. Yeah. Your job is to make sure that you are aspiring to be on the top, yeah. but you're also picking up someone else who is at the bottom. And that's what I've just learned or yeah. relearned from you guys today. Yeah, definitely. Good. Good luck and cheers. We'll see you on the next Bye. Video. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.